What's up Starcraft fans? I received a request to do a video on the spawn patterns on Temple of the Past. Naturally, I am only too happy to oblige. There are two spawn patterns on Temple of the Past and to see them both, we are going to go into a couple of replays to see each pattern. So let's start with the ground. So while waiting for the loading screen, a huge thank you to Zachary who has supported me in the mobilization tier. Thank you to Neo Metal who is supporting me in the Pulse Cannon tier. And thank you to all my supporters on Patreon, you guys are the best. So uh, what happened here was that a new pass just dropped for multiplayer of all things. Which means I'll need to uh, yeah, load that from the replay, quite unfortunately. Anyway, so we will want to watch the minimap for this as well as have a reference of the exact timings. So let's show those on screen. Show this, then this. There we go. I have marked the spawning points on the attack waves with letters A through G. You can see it on the uh, minimap, I've enlarged the minimap on the, uh, the, the lower left section. And the thrasher spawns 1 through 6. You can see the bond there. On the right, you have the spawn timings uh, as well as the uh, where they spawn. So let's actually skip ahead to the first wave. Yeah, skip ahead. Doesn't matter. You can see the Haka is going through uh, on, the, on the top. Minimap, you can see the Haka going through the enemy. Just gathering essence and stuff. Alright, first wave is spawned. We just haven't seen it spawn yet, but it has already spawned. Let's actually make it a little faster. Enemies. See the first wave, there it is. Let me just dance around those. Devouring and smashing those. As you can see, next wave is, has spawned at 415. We didn't see it actually spawn, but it was there at 4.15. So we're gonna have about uh, 3 more waves at the spot. So we spawn, stop here. You can see at 6 minutes, a ground hybrid spawn, this hybrid reader, hybrid reaver. Either this or the hybrid dominator, or the hybrid uh, destroyer will spawn the, uh, the, uh, the ranged one. This is the melee one. So if either this... Or the main or the ranged one spawn, you will have this attack pattern, the ground hybrid pattern. You'll see, you'll see uh, how what the difference is later on. So I clean up this wave. It's important. It, this is actually important. The first hybrid you see will determine what kind of pattern you will fight for the map. Right, there's another wave spawn at seven uh, seven minutes. Seven thirty even. <laughs> that was so fast, I didn't even see. Alright. Uh, let, let me just uh, talk, 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 talk about that part. So the first Thrasher spawned at 8.15, we destroyed almost immediately. And at 9 minutes, the, uh, this is where the, uh, the spawn patterns first diverge, on the ground hybrid version. An attack wave will spawn here, at, uh, at location B, and also here at location C. So let's... Uh, Let's go through that. At 10 minutes, will be another spawn. There's some with hybrid. You can see once again that the enemy is uh, that the hybrid is ground ground based. So it's another confirmation that we'll be facing the uh, the ground hybrid version. At 11 minutes, we'll have another spawn. Although I'm not watching that right now. You can see my ally is watching. He's destroying this part. But I will be in position for the next wave at 12 minutes. Destroy this. Another one at 12.30. Right on time. I destroy that hybrid. So there will be another one, there will be another one at uh, 13.15. But I'm already uh, pos posi positioning myself here. So I can intercept that. Uh, this uh, hybrid or the Void Thrasher, I will spawn to location 2 at 13.45. There we go. So while I do that, we intercept the enemies that spawn at uh, 13.15 here. Alright. So uh, here is another point where the, where the uh, attack patterns diverge. At 15 minutes, when you get the ground hybrid, you will get the, uh, the enemies that spawn here. And they will arrive by transport to this side of the temple. 
This only happens when you get the, the ground hybrid at 6 minutes. So now we will have uh, two direct drops here. There we go, 16-15, right on time. 16-10 rather. Another one at 16-40. And another, a Thrasher spawn at 16-55, uh, right on time. Next one, 18 minutes, will be at uh, location B, so let's fast forward to that. Alright, there it is. Attack wave, 18 minutes with a hybrid. And then another one here at 18.15. After that, we'll have another spawn here. Like so, we clean that up. At 20 minutes. We'll have another spawn here. Clean that up. 2015. At 2015, we'll have the uh, the quadruple the quadruple uh, drop pod spawn or warping or drop pod. So the first one is at E, here. The second one is at F, right here. It just hasn't spawned yet. And yeah, there it is. And finally at G, 2116. There it is. And then we'll have one more that spawns at either E, F, or G. There's really no way to determine. So we just have to uh, watch out and uh, be alert wherever it spawns. Alright, after that, we're gonna have another spawn here at, uh, yeah, at A. Clean that up. After that, we'll have the double fracture spawn. You can see uh, an attack wave spawns each at B, at B and C. And a fracture spawns at uh, both 5 and 6. So we need to destroy all of those. That's, a, that's actually a huge wave. Alright. After that, we'll have the double hybrid spawn. Right on time. Yeah, you can see clearly on the, uh, on the timings on the right, they spawn right on time. Now we'll have the last wave. One here. One here. And one here. Right on time. And we will destroy them almost immediately. And there it is. This is the this is generally the easier the easier spawn on uh, on Temple of Past. The general reasoning is because air hybrids and mutations are quite quite annoying to kill. So yes, let's uh, finish up this map. There we go. Now that you've seen the uh, ground hybrid version, let's quit this game and go into the uh, the air hybrid version. Let's have this uh, let's have this screen while you're waiting. My mic, my mic keeps muting itself for some reason. Oh well. Good thing I spotted it in time. Alright, let's load this. There we go. Put that thing up. Alright. Let's skip ahead once again to the first, uh, to the first enemy spawn. Yeah, you can see my Zoraya Legion cleaning up the rocks, just building up, building up our infrastructure, and then there it is. The first wave should be spawning right about now. Foes are closing in on our base. Yeah, there it is. And then we'll have another spawn. It, it'll follow. It'll actually follow the uh, the. It'll actually follow the uh, the ground hybrid version up until six minutes. That's where they diverge. Yeah, same thing. Alright. So this is actually where we want to pay attention. At 6 minutes, the first uh, the first hybrid will spawn. You can see it's air this time. It's air based. And that will tell you that this is the air hybrid version of Temple of the Past. This one is a bit more annoying than the ground hybrid version. So after that, it will 
uh, it will actually be the same until 8 minutes and 15 the, uh, the first the first Void Thrasher spawn same thing you can see on the uh, the, the, the right timing 7.30 and the uh, first Void Thrasher will spawn 8.15 There it is, right on time. And then this is the first point where the bills diverge, or the, uh, the spawn patterns diverge. At 9 minutes, the enemies will spawn either at location B or at location C. There's really no way to determine, and that's, uh, yeah, that's one of the reasons why it's, uh, it's, a lot more, it's a bit more annoying to do this diversion because there's more RNG involved. So it didn't spawn at B, therefore it's at C. There it is. Right as predicted. In that 10 minutes, we'll have the hybrid spikes. We'll see more air hybrid, more clear difference. I destroy this. The, uh, the hybrids will spawn at both locations at 10 minutes. In that 11 minutes, we'll have another attack wave spawn. So remember, uh, remember earlier, the, uh, the 9 minute wave spawned at location B or location C rather, so the 11 minute wave will spawn, or did spawn at location B. So there they are. Let's clean those up. And then 4 bits it will once again di uh, converge at, uh, at location A. Same as the previous wave. There it is. Yeah, just uh, yeah, destroy this wave. It'll once again be similar. For the first one, we'll have a bunch of waves here, and then we'll have the uh, the flasher, or yeah, the void flasher at this location at uh, point two. But before that, we'll have a 13, 1335 wave at uh, location C. There it is. Destroy that. All right. This is where the uh, the patterns diverge once again. If we have the air version of Temple of the Past, the air hybrid version. The, instead of dropping here and arriving by transport, they will directly warp in and or and or drop pod to this location. There it is. And we'll have another one. Yeah, there it is. And then we'll have the thrasher spawn at 1545, right on time. Destroy that. After that, we'll have the 1635 spawn at, uh, at location D. And there it is. Clean that up. Another one. 1655. There it is. All right. So here's where here's where it diverges again. At 18 minutes, there are two possible spawn locations. It will either spawn at B, at B, or at A. So if it spawns at B. The, 19, the 1815 wave will spawn at C. But if it spawns at A, the, if the 18 minute spawns at A, the 1815 will also spawn at A. Another reason why I really prefer the ground version of uh, Temple of the Past. It's more predictable. Whereas this one has a bit more, or a lot more RNG. So it didn't spawn here, therefore it will spawn here. There it is. Alright. So at 19, uh, 1915, it will spawn here once again. So yeah, even if you do, if you do memorize the spawn patterns, it can, this 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 one can still throw you off guard, just because it has it has more RNG. Random being num being, being the number random number generator. There it is. White factor spawn at 20 minutes, right on cue. More hybrids here, right on time once again. Another one. Clean these up. After that, we actually have a bit of a downtime. So let's fast forward to the next attack wave. After that, it will be the the double flash spawn. Preparations are nearly complete. At uh, twenty-two thirty. There it is. Again, double flash spawn, and double attack wave. This is where the, the both both patterns converge and have involved a similar pattern. Then two two uh, two hybrid spawns. 
speed this up a bit. There it is. And here. Destroy these. And finally, after destroying that, finally we'll have the uh, the triple spawn at all three corners. One, or A, B, and C. Just haven't seen A yet, but my ally's gonna do it. Yeah, he's gonna see that spawn. And there it is! The, the, that is the spawn pattern if you see the air hybrid. Let me know in the comment section which one you, uh, which one you prefer, if you, if you actually think the air one is better. But I think most of us will agree that the, uh, the ground hybrid is easier to manage. Anyway, I'll have this, uh, I'll have the, uh, the spawn patterns linked in the comments and the description below so you can have, you can have easy access if, you're, if you ever want to. There it is. Hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. If you have an idea for what else we could do, please leave that in a comment. See you.